G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, in today's video, we're going to just look at a simple subject, um, but one that uh, is worthy of consideration, and that is, what is the correct height for a metal lathe to be mounted? In other words, um, what's the, the formula for getting the correct height? And I'll show you what I was taught, and it's very simple, so we'll get on with it. Well, you know, a lot of the lathes you buy, the, the Chinese lathes, particularly the stands, they that come with them are very low. They're made for really short people. When if you're tall like me, I'm six foot, nearly six foot two. Uh, I wouldn't want to use one of those, and I'd be, you know, I'd get a backache in no time at all, bending down, stooping over, working on it. So, I, like a lot of people, I made my own stands, uh, spanning beam or torsional beam type of stand, but whatever stand you choose to make, uh, this, the principle that I'm going to show you holds true. Now I was taught that the correct height of the lathe is the level at which the centre of the cross slide lines up with your elbow. In other words, your elbow should be pretty much, corner of your elbow should be pretty much in line with the centre of the, of the, uh, the cross slide when you're standing alongside it. So I stand like this and, yeah, it's about the mark. I mean, obviously it can be up or down a bit, it doesn't really matter a lot. You've got some latitude there. But basically that's it. If you stand there, your elbow should be in line with the, with the cross slide centre. Being that way, you can then, if you put your hand on the cross slide, your forearm should be pretty well parallel to the ground. Now, in my case, it's slightly down, so this you could say that this lathe is slightly lower than it should be. Now, the actual lathe is, the base of the lathe, I know, is exactly a metre above floor level. So when you calculate uh, the, uh, the height, you just have to do a few numbers, crunch a few numbers, measure your elbow uh, to the floor, measure the, uh, the cross light centre to the lathe base, and just take a few things away and you can work out how high your, your lathe stand should be. So in this case, it's slightly low, but it's not uncomfortably low. In fact, it's better to be slightly low than slightly high, otherwise you'll, you'll be up like this, you know, and that's going to be bad news. So slightly low is okay, and this, as I said, is quite comfortable to use. So I'll look at the Schorblen and see what that comes up at. Okay, on the Schorblen, if I come in, Going, my elbow is pretty much in line. If I hold the hand wheel, my forearm is, well, it's dead parallel. I hope it's coming up. It's dead parallel to the, to the floor. So the Shorblin is actually the perfect height. Uh, if I come in, I'll come in left-handed so you can get a better view. But basically, yeah, my forearm is dead parallel to the floor. So in that case, the, uh, the centre of the cross slide is 1200, 1200 millimetres. Whereas I know on the, hang on, what's on the uh, Chinese, I'll measure that. Okay, the Chinese lathe is 1180, so it's only a 20, 20 mil difference, you know, between the two of them. So they're both pretty good. So that's it, that's all there is to it. Just take that, uh, that elbow measurement to the floor, Work on that with your cross slide as far as, you know, uh, the depth of the lathe to the bed and, uh, yeah, it's easy to work out. So that's it. I hope you found it interesting. Um, I was hoping to do some metal casting, but it's coming wet again, so uh, that'll be in my next video probably get there and do a bit more home casting. But anyway, this is, uh, you know, an interesting little video, I think, for newbies and anybody that's wanting to build a lathe bench, a lathe stand, because, I mean, it's, as I said, there's so many variable factors in lathe size, but there's the one common denominator is that your working position has to be your forearm parallel to the floor and in line with the, the cross light centre. Okay, that's it. I hope you found it interesting. See you next time. Cheers.